A dirty bike is one thing, but a dirty drivetrain is another. Dirty drivetrain is obviously going to impact your uh, bike's performance and wear down very, very valuable and expensive uh, components. So we're going to take off the rear wheel today and we're going to inspect this cassette and clean it out. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the skewer and put on this little fancy tool here. This is a lock ring remover. It costs about anywhere from five to ten dollars. Can be found at your local bike shop. It fits in there like that. So the second tool you'll need, so it's called a chain whip. This can also be found at most bike shops. It costs probably about eighteen to twenty dollars. This holds the cassette in place, so it won't turn. Then you take your standard crescent wrench put it on the lock ring remover and break it free. Now once you have the cassette off and all the, all the uh, cassette pieces free, all I'd like to do is put it in a little basin of solvent. I've used everything from mineral spirits to paint thinner, uh, anything that's going to remove that grease. Remember, there's no bearings in the cassette, so you don't really have to worry about drying anything out too much. All right, once I let them soak just a little bit, I'm just going to use a standard toothbrush, which I've used this one actually quite a bit. It's wearing down. And I'm just going to take each one of these little cassettes and just scrub them clean. As you can see, the, the dirt deposits and grease, the grease deposits just come off so easily. Okay, after you've cleaned the cassette and all the little cogs, now it's time to assemble it back onto the cassette body. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can't really do it backwards and you can't put things on wrong because they, they have slotted it like a little puzzle for you. So the most important part is putting in the spacers in the right spot. And if you don't put them in the right spot, it'll be very obvious because the, the cogs will actually sit flat up against one another. So let's see if we can get this done quickly. Okay, there you have it. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple to do. If you ever put together a puzzle, probably be able to put the cogs back on the cassette body.